Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be running a 4K render test in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18. Now, the purpose of this was to see how fast the hardware installed on this computer is and how well it can handle some of the beefy video files that I'm gonna throw at it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same clip and I'm gonna apply the same LUT to it. And we're gonna try that both on my M2 Pro MacBook Pro as well as on this PC. In the PC, we have the Intel Core i9-12900K, which was released towards the end of 2021, and at the time was the most powerful processor on the market. We've paired that with the RTX 3070 Ti, and the MacBook has the M2 Pro. So we're gonna run the same clip on both computers, and we'll see what happens. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start here in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18. I'm gonna grab the same raw clip, not do any other adjustments to it other than LUT, so that we can have a constant to run this experiment. All right, so I'll open up this project here. And let me just go ahead and create a new timeline that we can uh, use here for reference. This is a, a Cybertruck commercial I did with a client. So we'll create a new timeline here, and we're gonna uh, just title this Render Test. Cool. Okay, I think this clip would be good. This is a, a fixed mounted shot basically where we put the camera on the side of the Cybertruck here and we just drove it down the street. So literally all I'm gonna do for color grading or color correction is I'm gonna add a lookup table or a LUT. I'm gonna add the same LUT again as we talked about. I'm gonna add the same LUT um, both on the Mac and here so that at least we have some control for our results. All right, and I'll show you guys a quick preview of the clip. So this is a uh, 4K. 24 frames per second shot on a Sony a7S III, which is what we're using to record this. And there's probably, let's see how long this clip is. So the clip in its raw format is three minutes and just over nine seconds long. Of course, we're gonna use the same export settings as well. So I'll go with H.264 master. We'll title this PC render test. So again, we're running an H.264 compression and we're exporting in 24 frames per second at 4K, okay? Let's see how fast it does it. All right, we completed that in just 36 seconds. So 4K with a you know standard H.264 codec um, with a lookup table applied. This is again, this is an S-Log3 clip straight from a Sony camera. Uh, 36 seconds for a little over three minutes in runtime. I'd say that's pretty good. Now, if we use some noise reduction, like temporal noise reduction or something like that, we probably would have increased the render time a little bit, but I think this is a good sort of benchmark to reference. So, all right, so I've got everything pulled up here on the Mac. All right, let's go ahead and apply that LUT. Again, I'm using the exact same LUT. Yep, and just to verify, we're a little over 309, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have to manually time this one out because I don't believe Final Cut will track it for me. But let's go ahead and do the exact same thing here. So, all right, so we've got the exact same file set up here, H.264 video and audio and the whole clip again nothing altered other than the LUT. I've got my phone here to track the render time so we'll go ahead and render this out and we'll see what happens. All right ready in three two one go. All right guys the render just finished on the Mac and there was a substantial difference in render time more than I even anticipated. On the Mac we had a total render time of 10 minutes 15 seconds and 95 milliseconds. And remember on the PC, we had 36 seconds. So, so that was quite the difference. That's actually really impressive for the PC. Now, by no means was this a perfect experiment. Of, I was using Final Cut um, on the Mac and DaVinci Resolve on the PC, but I used the same codec, the same LUT, the exact same clip. So I feel the comparison was at least fairly accurate. And I have to say, I used to be a Mac guy and now I am a PC guy and that's and that's partly because of this, but also partly because I work for Indigo Software. So our claim isn't to say that one is better than the other. We just wanted to show you guys an interesting comparison between a Mac laptop and a desktop PC. 
If you found the video helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and it helps make more videos like these possible. And again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We also strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you guys may have for us. So again, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.